How come my eggs never hatch? I don't know why. Whatever. Oh, Dan, hi. Pokemon Go? Yeah, I'm playing Pokemon Go. What How it? old are you, man? I love it. I'm just going to tune out now. Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Hi, kids. How you doing? John, that was my flow potato. Let me start this game right now. There's Dan over there who just loves the fact that I'm playing Pokemon Go. What uh, a sellout. You guys have been writing him in, uh, in and letting me know what kind of Pokemon characters you want to learn how to draw. I just caught a pincer uh, just a couple days ago. A good one, too. Real high uh, CP points. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get them in the battles. Uh, but I figured today I'd show you how to draw a pincer using nothing but numbers and letters because that's the Muffalo oh, Potato sounds way. Sounds like you have all the makings of a disappointing episode. Dan, it doesn't matter what it sounds like. It's a lot of fun. So you need three things, kids. You need a pen, a piece of paper, and you need to watch me. Okay, start with your paper straight up and down. The first thing I want you to draw is uh, a big egg-shaped zero at a little bit of an angle because he's sort of he's coming at you with that crazy pincer body. Oh, yeah, look out yeah. for that crazy yeah, pincer body. Yeah, it is a crazy body. pincer body, uh. Dan. You know, Ugh. as soon as you start playing it, you're gonna be addicted, that's all I'm saying. Put your pen here, guys. It's sort of an egg shape, kind of big. Goes around, a little bit of an angle, goes back up again, up again. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be fun. That's not bad for a, for a guy that plays, I don't know. Um, and uh, on this side, we're gonna do two C's right next to each other, one like this, one like that touching. That's gonna be that horn, uh, one pince, if you will of the pincer. Uh, so let's do a C here. Comes around, touches the shape there. Another nice round curved shape, a little bit bigger coming down here. That's the horn. Now at different angles if you want, you can do a couple V's, maybe a, a, a zero in the middle, another V there, because that pincer's got little teeny uh, marks uh, right there. Uh, beneath that, I want you to draw a small letter C for his little teeny pincer shoulder. Right dead smack in the center, I need you to draw another smaller egg shape, another smaller zero. Oh, roughly the same angle the one that you drew. And on this side, I want you to draw two capital E's, one beneath the other, because he's got, uh, he's got teeth that go, well, they go that way across. Oh, tell us more about those teeth that go that way. <sighs> Whatever, Dan. Wow. No, no, just, you know, that's it. Make fun of me, I don't care. I don't care. At the very bottom, uh, he needs uh, two legs. That's easy as uh, two lowercase u's. Uh, one u at an angle like this, one u at an angle like this, and then uh, some lowercase n's. Let's do a lowercase n here, one in the middle, one on the outside, one on the outside, one in the middle, one right there. There is little pincer feet. And uh, right next to that C, let's do two V's. One V here, one V here, and you can do a pointy M and maybe an upside down V at an angle for one of his hands. Now we have to do the exact same thing on the other side, okay? So let's turn the paper upside down like this. Once again, let's do two C's, roughly the same size, so they, they're sort of balanced. So there's one C like this, and another C like this, and now collectively, he has got what would be known as, as what, Dan? Pincers. Pincers, yes. Because pincers. they, they yeah. pinch. Uh, no, yeah, they pinch. Or pinch, I was gonna say pinch. Okay, uh, and again, guys, let's do a zero here, and a couple Vs at an angle, just like that. Uh, following the other side, let's do a C. Um, we need to do two E's on this side for his teeth. We're almost done now, just a couple quick moves. There you go. Uh, let's turn the page sideways really quick. He's gonna need um, some uh, pincer eyes there, and that's as easy as drawing two uh, capital D's, one like this, one like this. Make that one angle up, make that one angle down a little bit, sort of makes him look a little bit menacing. So that D's a little top heavy, and this D here is a little bottom heavy. Like that. Beneath, let's do the number 11. One there, one there. Turn the page straight up and down for a couple final steps. Two narrow V's for eyeballs. Narrow V's? You know, if I had any interest in playing this game, it's gone now. Two V's here, one on top of the other for his other arm. An upside down V, and oh, a sideways M for good measure. Wow, look at that, huh? You know what I think we should do? I think we should ring the bell. Absolutely, because now you've just drawn a pincer from Pokemon Go using nothing but numbers and letters because that's the Muffalo Potato way. Is anyone watching this still? Dan, stop it. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna color it in at high speed, you color it in at your own speed, and it uh, goes a little something like this. Boom, 
and there you have it. There's your little pincer. Uh, at the last minute, I decided to add a Pokemon ball because that's how most of the fight looked this afternoon. It was just bing, ba bing off the top of his head. CP was $7.99. Not bad for uh, for a you know first time catch there. Uh, so Russ and write in below. Let me know what kind of Pokemon you want me to draw. I have one. Oh, you got a Pokemon you want me to draw? Uh, draw the end of your career, Mon. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, Dan, you, you're a real comedian. Whatever. What a sense of humor. Anyway, let me talk to the kids. You just sulk in the corner. Uh, Wrap it up. Write in below, let me know what kind of Pokemon you want me to draw. If you want to send in your drawing to me, uh, make sure you send it to John at MuffaloPotato.com. Ask your parents permission first. Post it up on Instagram, hashtag Muffalo Monday, so I can take a good look at it. Does the fun ever start around here when Dan's in the studio? And huh? the John, end the show. I don't know. Guys, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be fun. See if, uh, see you, uh, you know, I'll just see ya. Have fun. Bye. The Muffalo Potato Store is now open for business. Come on in. Backpacks, t-shirts. That spells awesome in my book. Perfect for holiday gifts. Perfect for any time of year. Now you can dress just like your favorite drawing show. There's a good chance you're gonna look cooler than me. We've got Muffalo Potato stuff. It's exciting and you can buy it. <laughs>
Uh, but I figured today I'd show you how to draw a pincer using nothing but numbers and letters because that's the Muffalo oh, Potato sounds Way. Sounds like you have all the makings of a disappointing episode. Dan, it doesn't matter what it sounds like. It's a lot of fun. So you need three things, kids. You need a pen, a piece of paper, and you need to watch me. Okay, start with your paper straight up and down. The first thing I want you to draw is uh, a big egg-shaped zero at a little bit of an angle because he's sort of, he's coming at you with that crazy pincer body. Oh yeah, look out yeah. for that crazy yeah, it pincer is a crazy body. Pincer body, uh. Dan. You know, Ugh. as soon as you start playing it, you're gonna be addicted, that's all I'm saying. Put your pen here, guys. It's sort of an egg shape, kind of big. Goes around, a little bit of an angle, goes back up again, up again. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect, just needs to be fun. That's not bad for a, for a guy that plays, I don't know. Um, and uh, on this side, we're gonna do two C's right next to each other, one like this, one like that touching. That's gonna be that horn, uh, one pince, if you will of the pincer. Uh, so let's do a C here, comes around, touches the shape there, another nice round curved shape, a little bit bigger, coming down here, that's the horn. Now at different angles if you want, you can do a couple V's, maybe a, a, a zero in the middle, another V there, because that pincer's got little teeny uh, marks uh, right there. Uh, beneath that, I want you to draw a small letter C for his little teeny pincer shoulder. Right dead smack in the center, I need you to draw another smaller egg shape, another smaller zero. Oh, roughly the same angle the one that you drew. And on this side, I want you to draw two cow oh, sideways M for good measure. Wow, look at that, huh? You know what I think we should do? I think we should ring the bell. Absolutely, because now you've just drawn a pincer from Pokemon Go using nothing but numbers and letters because that's the Muffalo Potato Way. Is anyone watching this still? Dan, stop it. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna color it in at high speed, you color it in at your own speed, and it uh, goes a little something like this. Uh, at the last minute, I decided to add a Pokemon ball because that's how most of the fight looked this afternoon. It was just bing, ba bing off the top of his head. CP was seven ninety nine. Not bad for uh, for a, you know first time catch there. Uh, so, Russ, and right in below, let me know what kind of Pokemon you want me to draw. I have one. Oh, you got a Pokemon you want me to draw? Uh, draw the end of your career, Mon. <laughs> so funny. Oh, Dan. You're a real comedian. Whatever.